Hey guys, it's me. Uh, welcome back. So I'm back in my kitchen making another video. Um, this one's actually going to be school related. So um, I don't really have any other uh, weight loss updates right now. So I'll make a separate video on that. Um, hopefully in the next couple weeks. But um, this one's going to be just about Ashworth. So um, if you want to find out more about the program and kind of how it works, um, let's do that. So um i am currently in um the veterinary technology program um i just started this program on october 29th um i have completed technically two classes um but the first class was more just like an orientation so um it was achieving academic success i believe is what it was called and the second class my first actual class that i started was business english so I just um, finished that yesterday. Um, oh, well, I think it was actually, was it Sunday? It might have been Sunday. I don't remember exactly um, what day it was, but I finished my assignments over the weekend. I got everything submitted. And um, I actually had a really fast turnaround time this time around. Um, my other assignment, um, assignment four, um, took a couple days to get that grading back. Um, but this time around, I had it back like Monday morning, it was there. Um, and then everything had showed that I had passed the class. Um, so then I was able to move on today to basic biology. Um, so the way, one thing that, um, is different about Ashworth College is that, um, you basically, um, they have several different majors. And so the rule is, is like, you're able to open for most general majors, um, two classes at a time. You're allowed to have two of them open. If you're a nursing student, um, you're allowed to have one, um, general course open and then a nursing class open. And then if you're a veterinary technology student, you're only allowed to have one class open at a time. So, um, and that's for generals and your veterinary classes. Um, so that can be a little frustrating at times um, because I'm the kind of person that likes to jump around and, you know, go from English to math or biology to, you know, veterinary class. So um, this is definitely going to be interesting. Um, I do understand kind of why they're doing it. It's more of like they just want to set up the building blocks um, to make sure, you know, we actually absorb the information correctly. Um, so that does make sense. I mean, they, they want it done a certain way um, because that's the way it needs to be done. So um, that is that. Um, just a couple little remarks overall about the school. Um, I really like it so far. I've ha honestly had no issues uh, with their staff or their counselors or anybody. Um, I will say that, um, their average time for getting your grades in, um, they say, I think it's like five to seven days or seven to 10 days. Excuse me. <coughs> Ooh, bless me. Um, so I think it's five to seven days. Um, it's the turnaround time that they get those grades in. So um, just be prepared for that. Um, if you are waiting to start another class, know that your last class that you just completed has to have all of your grades and it has to be marked that you have passed it before they will open another class for you because that's just the way it goes. Um, and then the other thing too I wanted to mention was the transcripts. Now, I personally am not transferring any credits from any other colleges. There's a couple colleges that I could probably transfer some credits to, but honestly, I just don't want to deal with the hassle of it. So I'm literally just taking my GED transcripts and I'm sending that over. Now, you have 90 days from the day that you start. So for me, it would be October 29th to get your, at the very least, to get your high school transcript or your GED tra transcript into them. If you are unable to do that, they will put your classes on hold because they do have to have that transcript in order for you to be able to continue the program. Um, because this is an accredited program, 
this is one of the requirements for any college across the state. You have to have graduated from a high school or from a GED, you know, course, whatever, um, in order to be able to go to college. That's just the way it works. Um, that's why federal uh, FAFSA aid, um, you can't actually get financial aid without proving that you have graduated uh, with at least a high school diploma or a high school equivalency. So that is super important. You definitely want to do that as early as possible. Um, I have already submitted my transcript. I did have to call them today because we hit that like seven day mark, I think. Again, I think it's like seven to 10 days that they have to actually get it uploaded in the system. Um, so I called them today just to make sure that they had received it. They have received it. They received it on the 20th. And so from then they told me that now the waiting process starts. And so within seven to 10 days, I should see that transcript uploaded onto my portal, um, onto my student portal. So, um, it is definitely a waiting process and you definitely want to make sure you have that in before your 90 days. Um, because if you don't, your classes will get stopped. Also, um, if you are like super quick with all your classes, um, and say you get done with nine credits before your 90 days and before you turn in your transcripts, um, they will also put you on hold as well. Um, like you cannot complete more than nine credits without having those transcripts in and keep in mind that that um achieving college success course is a credit i believe it's three credits actually so um once you basically complete um the or orientation the english and the biology then you're going to be kind of stuck until you get those transcripts in so just make sure um you know i can't harp on it enough make sure you get those in um, other than that, I feel pretty confident about this school. Like I said, I haven't had any issues. Um, I've always been able to call them. Um, I do live in California, so they are, um, they're located in Georgia, so they're about three hours ahead of me. So that sometimes makes it a little difficult. So just keep that in mind that they are on, um, I believe it's Eastern Standard Time. So, um, yeah, um, so I think that's all I have for now. Um, I don't really know much about the um, the uh, externships yet. Um, I do know that you have to complete, um, I believe it's 250 hours. When I did actually ask them about that earlier today, because I wanted to try to get more information, I believe that just all the academic advisors that were there were um, gone for the day for my program. Um, so, but the, um, the student support services said that, you know, it is towards the end of the program. And so I guess the way that works is that your veterinary tech, um, tech teacher will contact you, um, prior, like way prior to the start of that. And they'll kind of give you more information on that. I'm going to try and call maybe next week, maybe in the next couple weeks, see if I can get more information as I get into my next class. Um, but we'll see how that goes. Alrighty guys, hope you're having a great night. Um, Thanksgiving is coming up soon, so happy Thanksgiving just in case I don't make any other videos. And as always, um, thank you for watching. If you have any other comments, questions, concerns, please leave them down below. Alright, bye!